Oh my God. <clears throat> the one phone call I received of my dad's sudden death in an accident. It was on the night before my first ever degree exam. Okay, I've lost my dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's um It's been difficult for me, I think. It's been uh, it's been 10 years, but you know, it still seems like um I think yeah, that that was probably my 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 first heartbreak. My dad met in an accident as well when I was in school and um it was not his fault. He was coming back from work and um, some guy who beat the traffic light hit into him. He was trying to cross the road. Um, I was super close to my dad, right? He was my best friend and uh, for some reason, I knew something bad had happened because he hadn't come home from work. But he's sometimes late, but he hadn't come home from work and um, I knew something had gotten wrong and I didn't know what. Um, tried calling his office, there was no response and then um, I waited for that dreadful call to come and then it came in from the hospital saying that he was admitted because someone hit into him so I, you know, the shock, that, the shock waves that went through my, my body at that time was so intense that I, I, it was the first time I ever experienced something like that and I didn't know what condition he was in, you know, whether he was okay, whether he was not, whether he was going to be able to recognize us or walk or whatever. And then we went to the hospital and, you know, he was a tough guy. He got away with like two broken legs, took him some time to recover and, and you know, that's one of those things that I, that he sort of thought us that, you know, he came out of it really strong and then I eventually lost him to a heart attack which is the biggest heartbreak but my dad always prepared us for the fact that he, we were going to lose him one day and it was particularly hard for me because he was someone I always went to, to uh, um, you know, everything, whatever problems I had, even when I had boyfriend problems, I went to him. Um, always had good advice. And, um, you know, when I lost him, the thing that I learned out of it, you know, someone close to me told me this, you know, like, because my, the question that was ringing in my head was, how does one prepare for this, you know? Everybody's got parents, you know, you're all, we are all born with parents, right? Uh, or a loved one, or a grandmother, or a grandfather, or an auntie, or an uncle, or a sister, or whoever, you know, and... Well, in, in the circumstances that I grew up, people say it's, it's fated when you go. At some point of time, you're going to lose them, right? So how do you prepare for that? And the best answer that I learned from losing my dad was that you can never prepare for that. It will prepare you, you know? And when I, when I lost him for real, is when I realized that you actually never lose them because you're a product of them, you know? You wanna feel them, feel your skin. This is a product of them, you know? We are a part of their DNA. And so, I believe that he continues to live in me, through me. And whatever it was that he did, he was a good man. And I learned, I learned compassion from him. He was kind to animals, he was kind to people. And I'll tell you a story about him. When I was a child and I was walking through a, a Pasamalam with him, 
And I know for a fact that he only had five ringgit in his pocket at that time. After we did our shopping, whatever, he took out that money and he gave it to a beggar. Okay? And I asked him, and I looked at him, I was very curious. I was like, what are you going to do, you know? Don't you need that money? And he said, well, now, at this moment, that man needs this money more than me. You know, I will be able to find it somewhere or other. And that was the man he was, you know. He would pick up every dog, every stray dog in the street and feed them and bring them home. And these are the values that he taught us. And I knew that he was living through me then when I lost him, that I was going to continue his legacy and I was going to do what he did. And I was going to be a better person by doing that. And that would be my response to this.